All the products featured in this episode of 5-Minute Decor are provided by Oddity Inc., a leader in home decor and fragrance products. You can locate these fine products at www.oddityinc.com products. Hi, I'm Rodney. This time on 5-Minute Decor, I'm going to give you some interesting ideas using cylinder vases and candle holders. But before we get started, I just want to remind you, if you're watching on our website, product information and project photos are available in the show notes area. Also, we would love to hear from you. Please take a minute to leave a comment in our suggestion or suggestion in our comments area. And if you click on notify me, we will send you an email when the new episodes arrive. Okay, we're going to get started. Our first project is going to be using two large cylinder vases, or a large one and a medium one, and we're going to make a, and we're also going to use a print from a calendar or any kind of photograph you have inside the one cylinder base. So we're going to start out with a uh, mirror for the base. And we take this large swirl cylinder. I believe this is the large, it might be the medium one, I'm not sure exactly. And we take uh, the glass chips, which I've showed you before how to use. And this is only to make sure that the glass inside stands up straight. All right, so that's about, probably about half. Okay, put that there, shake that level. The next thing we want to put in is the medium-sized cylinder vase. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this photograph, which I've taken off the internet, just printed out, made a color copy. I cut the top a little bit with a, a fancier scissors, but um, you don't have to do that. And you put that in the center. And I like adding these little dried flowers just because it's springtime. Something like this could be used for Mother's Day, a birthday centerpiece, a wedding centerpiece even. This would be perfect. And um, people really love purple. If you're a purple person, this is all just for you. <laughs> and you drop the, you know, that's about a handful just around. You know, I like it better just to have them sporadically inside there. And inside that, oops, hold on, I dropped some of those inside. You don't want that. Now, as far as lighting this, you have a couple of different options. You can put a battery-operated cylinder inside. It's going to be a little hard to see this with the lights we have in here. Just drop that right inside. That's one option. The other option is, let's take this out, to use this glass insert, which with this you could use a real candle if you, if you feel that's what you'd rather have, or just drop a little battery light inside that. And that's about it with this one. So, but, uh, but I'm going to just show you a couple little ways to finish it off by grabbing two nice purple pillar candles. And if you want, throw a couple more of these around the base of that. And there you go. All right, and there you have it, a nice uh, spring, you know, wedding centerpiece or birthday centerpiece. All right, the second one I'm going to show you is my favorite. It's just simply taking a, a photocopy of your kids or whoever, you know, you'd like, to, whatever you're celebrating. Again, this would be a great centerpiece for like an anniversary or something like that. You know, find an old, uh, a wedding a wedding photograph of the couple, drop it inside like that. This is also good for kids' birthday parties, too. And you could use a, a color photograph. We just decided to do it in black and white. Um, to light that up, drop another battery light inside. And this one I'm not going to put the granules on the bottom of, just because it's not, that's just a light source. It's not, it doesn't have to look level. Drop this on top. And uh, more glass chips. This time we're going to use the mirrored ones. I just wanted to do kind of a monochromatic you know, black and white sort of uh, thing this time. Uh, let's see. There you go. And on the top, you could use a, a real candle or use a battery-operated one again. It's up to you. And this would be great on, on top of a mirror as well, just to give it a nice base. And again, if you want to do that, for that, it's up to you. Okay, and the third idea, using cylinder vases, is more things from home which is my favorite way to use any of these products. You start with a tall cylinder and a medium cylinder. Or that's a small one, I'm sorry. Again, this would be great on a glass tray if you'd like. I prefer to just kind of leave it as simple as that. Um, you start out by pouring some small stones in the bottom <coughs> of each one. From there, we take this is a little bit more contemporary of an idea, rather than it being a country kind of thing. You then take this, which is just a cut philodendron leaf, which you have plants at home. Just drop it right inside like that. And you fill it with water. And 
And this lasts forever too, by the way. Well, not forever, but I've had these things kind of that's lasted for months for me. So uh, don't be afraid to try this at home. And this one. That's probably perfect. And all you want to do then is, in this case, use the little battery-operated floating candles. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. And same with this one. Now, I'm going to have one more of these leaves. You could just simply lay that in front. And if you want to do a nice centerpiece, you could sprinkle a couple more rocks on there or something like that. That's no problem. There we go. All righty, so there's three nice ideas using cylinder vases and candle holders for you. All right, that's it for today's show. I'll see you next time on 5 Minutes of Court. <laughs>